We're here at the EC Diner in Ellicott City at the event to help out Dante Scott's family from the flood in Philadelphia. And joining us is Super Terp, Eric Ayala. I would have called you a point guard before, but now you do everything. <laughs> So, happy to be out here supporting Dante. Um, and, you know, he's a brother of ours, so you know anything we can do to help, you know, definitely want to support him. How long have I thought you were from Delaware? So yeah. how do you know Dante that well from him being from Philadelphia? I mean, we right there. Um, same with Fats. Uh, us just being like 20, 30 minutes away, we all play together. Um, I go up there in Philly and play. They come down to Delaware and play. So um, you know, just you know, I've been playing against both of them for so long, with them and against each other. So. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's definitely cool to have guys that you're familiar with, you know, playing together and stuff at a high level. Um, Eric, you've been here longer than any of the other guys that are here tonight. Yeah, so, you, um, how is the team dynamic different than last year, just with the new guys, things like that? How would you describe it? Um, it's been fun. Uh, I feel like everybody coming in, uh, buying in to win it. Mm -hmm. I feel like at Maryland, we built a nice reputation and go Sturgeon history. You know, even before me, you know, just having a winning program. So I think everybody came in and uh, bought into that. And um, just with all the new guys, you know, everybody's coming in and, you know, ready to work. You know, that was the most exciting thing for me is just to, you know, see everybody willing to come in and be competitive and have that work ethic to get better every day. So um, I think all the new guys will help us out a lot. Um, you know, I'm excited for the season and uh, just to be back in the Xfinity with the fans and stuff. How is it between uh, between you and Fats? How is it? You know, are you playing more off the ball then? Yeah, or what sort of, right. Right, I yeah. mean, do you play? Are you still going to play on the ball song? Yeah, I mean, sort of, um, yeah. Fats somebody I trust. Like I said, I grew up with Fats. Um, I know he's going to make the best play and best decision for the team and you know, help us win a lot of games. So um, I'm definitely comfortable being off the ball. Uh, obviously, when he's not going to be able to play, you know, well, I would like him to play the whole game. But, um, <laughs> you know, times he's not in the game, I could definitely, you know, step in and run the point. Um, I think that's just coming with my versatility. You know, whatever coach needs me to do, you know, I'm prepared for it. Do you like playing off the ball more? Uh, it don't really matter to me. Um, you know, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. Um, I used to, when I was in high school, uh, I used to play with my friend, uh, Trayvon DeVall. He was a uh, ball down in the point right. guard. So, um, you know, being off the ball, it just allows me to just focus on scoring and, um, you know, be dominant in that aspect. What, what is, I mean, obviously, uh, Q brings something that you guys didn't have since uh, maybe Jalen was here. So, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what what does he add to the offense and defense? Um, just had that traditional big man down there, um, you know, having that post presence down there, that could, you know, help us, you know, get a couple extra possessions on offense. Um, same way on defense, um, having somebody that is solid down there, you know, you know if you get beat, you're going to be there to help you out. Um, or in the offense, just being there to throw down to the post and him being there to, you know, bring attention that way. You know, um, he's definitely one of those guys that has came in and bought in, you know, to what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, I think we're trying to do something special this year and, you know, make a deep win in terms of any of the uh, the young guys or anybody that sort of jumped out that you've seen big improvement in or any of the young guys caught your eye? Because um, there's so many new people, you know, everybody just, you know, flashing out. Um, Hakeem Hart has stepped up a lot. Uh, you know, Marcus Dockery has watched him mature. You know, he's still growing and stuff. Um, you know, Julian Reese since day one, you know, watching where he's coming today. Uh, Ian Martinez, you know, he had a little injury, you know, in the beginning of summer and stuff, but he's kind of coming back together now. Um, and just everybody, you know, everybody's coming along, everybody's getting better. And um, I think people will be excited to watch his play this year. How about uh, James Graham? How's he coming? Yeah, definitely. James Graham is growing a lot too. Um, mm -hmm. You know, y'all, he, he's talented. So, you know, I think people would be excited to see him play as well too. Um, a lot of people have asked about Ian um, and his because uh, they, they want to know if he can. Um, because obviously you're not going to be here next year. A lot of people yeah. have asked about, you know, is, can he be a ball handler? Has he done any of that? Um, um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Ian's pretty good. You know, he's definitely one of those. Uh, you know, he plays hard. You know, I love his motor, how hard he plays. Um, I got to learn more about his background and where he come from, and it all made sense, you know, just how hard he plays. He, he plays with a lot of pride, and, uh, you know, I admire that about him. And, uh, you know, he could definitely ball handle, he could definitely, you know, play off the ball. And I think he just wants to make the winning play. He just wants to help the team win, so I love that about him. Yeah. All right, I got a couple of the ones that uh, Dave might not uh, be in love with here, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. just, I, I got to ask you as well, favorite musical artist? Uh, Lil Baby, 100%. Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, what's the best basketball game you've ever seen at Maryland? Uh, 
seen or played in? I'll take either one. Uh, played in, we my freshman year, we played the University of Virginia at home, mm -hmm. Big Ten ACC Challenge. Mm -hmm. Craziest game I ever played in. As a freshman, it was my first big game. Mm -hmm. Sold out. You know, I remember looking up at the scoreboard and yeah. seeing the fans, like, covering the board. I couldn't even see the scoreboard. So, I mean, that's definitely one of my favorite games. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for talking to us. Once again, uh, you can check out uh, Dante Scott's Instagram page or yeah. Coach Turgeon's Twitter account. And either way, you can make a donation to help out the Scott family. Uh, thanks for talking to us. Have a yes, great sir. season. Have a nice day, y'all. Yeah. Yeah.